All right, so you guys have been asking me for a while, how do I make my own cardboard Iron Man helmet? As you know, I made one for my show Homemade Movies. It was featured in several episodes, but this one's kind of complicated, so I tried to simplify it and pare it down to a step-by-step -step kind of how-to. So let's get started. You'll need a ruler of some kind for measuring and making straight lines. Eventually, we'll need some gold and red spray paint. You will need a hot glue gun and a pair of box cutters or scissors. And of course, you need cardboard. We're gonna make this helmet out of five individual pieces, so I'm gonna show you each of those. I happen to have drawn them out on one big piece. It doesn't have to be one big piece, but this was a scrap piece of cardboard I had. One thing that we're gonna have to pay attention to is which way the perforation goes. That's the lines that you see in the cardboard. They go a certain direction, and that's gonna come in handy when we're trying to bend these and stuff. So take a look at the description. There's individual links of images of each of these pieces that you can see up close, and you can examine them, see some of the measurements and stuff. But I'm gonna walk you through each piece. All right, so the face plate. The main measurement you wanna keep in mind here is 12 inches from this tip to this tip. So you could just draw a line and just kinda of, that's the starting point and try and match some of these angles. Now when you draw this out, it's very important that the perforation is going up and down because that's gonna help us when we go and fold this later. From the top to the bottom, you've got five inches, so that's pretty easy from here to here. Um, I drew these lines here and here because we're gonna fold that. We'll kind of end up curving and folding this whole thing, but those are some main ones. That also helps you draw this bottom line at the five inch mark and sort of angle down a little bit, angle down angle up to the point, you know, you're gonna have to get a little creative with it and just try and make these lines work, but that's the basic shape. The eyes I measured from the top down into the center point and it was one and three quarters and that just made me a little mark in the middle. Um, and then from there, the, the distance between the eyes is one and a quarter. And then just, you know, try and match these shapes and just kind of draw that out. It's like a line, 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 line. Um, the overall distance from this point to this point is one and three quarters. All right, the next piece is the jaw. Same thing, perforation. You want it going up and down. That's gonna help us fold it. This line is gonna end up matching up with this one, so make sure they're the same. That is three and a half inches across, and then it's gonna fold kind of at a slight angle inward here. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, the distance here is one and three quarter inches. Overall length from corner to corner is uh, 12 and a half inches. So make sure that that's pretty dead on. To figure out where this line is, uh, just measure down from this top line um, an inch and a half and then just draw a line straight across and that gives you this top edge. And then from there, you go down exactly one inch and that gives you the bottom edge. Okay, the distance from this corner to this corner out right here is uh, four inches. Now when you get to the end here, make sure you slightly angle that one down a little bit. Then where I've got this dotted line here, from this corner to this corner, that's gonna end up folding. I'll show you in a minute. So um, those angle out a little bit and they're gonna fold. Okay, now the side of the helmet, um, you're gonna do two of these. They're gonna be mirror images of each other. Same exact measurements on both, so they're exactly opposite. You might make one and then just trace it onto another one if you want. This one's a little trickier, but I can help you out with from this corner straight down is exactly six inches. So you could start by drawing that line, then give yourself this little peak that kind of comes out. From corner to corner, that's five inches. This is a straight line, straight up. This is gonna be five and three quarter inches. Watch out right here, there's a little bit of an angle down and right here too, it angles down a little bit. What's gonna happen is this is gonna bend right here and it's gonna bend right here too. So you could just draw a line straight down. This, you're gonna have to just kind of feel it out. You could even wait on this one and wait till you have the top piece done, line up the bottom corner and then shape it around and then trace it. But that's the shape that we're trying to make. It's the side of this. Hopefully that makes sense, but that's what that's gonna end up matching. And so you wanna do that twice, opposite of each other. You wanna make sure they're exact opposites. It's like a mirror image. And then we've got the top piece. From top to bottom, it's 14 and a half inches. So I went ahead and just started with an edge that already existed in the cardboard. That makes it nice and easy. Um, so I just measured from the edge straight down. The width is gonna be five and a quarter. Pretty easy to just measure that straight out. Once I had this edge though, keep in mind that this angles up a little bit and this one angles up a little bit. So watch out for that. That's pretty simple, it's just a rectangle, but you do wanna make some other marks on here. You wanna measure in from the edges um, an inch and a half. So from this edge, measure in, and from this edge, measure in, and just give yourself a line all the way down. All right, here's what another one looks like. It's gonna end up folding in like this. Now we wanna make all these little cuts. So what we need to do is we wanna measure from the edge. You wanna measure down five inches, make a mark all the way to this line that you made. Then you wanna measure two and a quarter, make a line, two and a half, make a line, and then two inches, 
and make a line. And so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna cut those straight across. Also really important, you wanna make sure that the perforation is going a long ways on this one because we're gonna end up folding it like this. But that's basically it. So now you're ready to cut everything out. You can do this on a mat. I usually just kinda hold it up in the air against something and then just slice through. Make sure your fingers aren't in the way. Be really careful when you're using a sharp knife or blade, but this is how I do it. See like for some of the edges like this, I might just use scissors. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just make those cuts right to this middle line. Then we're gonna add our fold. So I'm just lining up where that line is and then I'm just gonna press down. Bam, there we go. Look at that, folds pretty good. All right, do the same thing here. All right, there we go. Where we made all these cuts, let's just go ahead and bend two. I'm gonna use the edge of the table here. There. Here's the other thing that we're gonna do with this. Um, we made these lines already, but let's go ahead and cut out little wedges. Just cut another extra little sliver, like about that big. It's gonna um, help us bend this. Just cut a little tiny slice of pizza out of there. We've got all these nice little wedges taken out, so that way when we bend this, it's gonna fit together in a really cool way. All right, let's do this guy. Please don't cut yourself when you're doing this. All right, there. All right, so this one has folds too. Remember these lines that we made? I'll just use the edge of the table probably. There we go, look. Because our perforation is going a long ways, it makes it really easy to just fold it and bend it. Just push, there, that's it. All right, feel free to just bend this whole thing so it really curves, but these are the two main bends that we wanna start with. All right, there we go. So this one has some specific bends in it. All right, so you gotta look really close and see where these lines are, but from that corner to that corner, it's gonna bend. Um, so they're not actually totally parallel, they're kinda angled out a little bit, so just watch out for that. So I'll put it on something like this, and then I'm just gonna push, there you go. So that, that gives me the bend that I want. All right, so there you go. So that's the jaw piece. Later on, that's gonna end up fitting together with this right here. All right, so once you got this one cut, um, there are two folds that you wanna keep in mind. One is just following this line straight down, so that's like super easy. Just take a ruler, follow that line straight down where it already is. Just gotta press, okay, there we go. See, you want these both to bend in the same way too, so press and fold, just like that. So we've got this piece angled in, this piece angled in. So we've got both of those opposites folding up. I guess I forgot to cut the eyes out. Let's cut the eyes out. It doesn't have to be exact. That's good enough, it's Iron Man's eye. There, okay, eyes are out. Yep, they work. Now that the eyes are cut out, we're gonna glue it all together. Okay, so the first piece that we're gonna glue is the top one to the sides. Uh, so those two are gonna go together. So, you've got your hot glue gun here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line this first edge, like so. So I'm just gonna hold that right there, lining up the bottom. And this is the fun part, where you wait for the hot glue to dry. So we're gonna just keep gluing the edge of this all the way along the top, like so. Here's a good trick with the hot glue. Once you've got that edge lined with the glue and it's dry, um, you can go in and add a little bit more right inside the crease here. It kinda just serves as a little extra strength now, as you're gluing these into place, you might find that you need a little extra bend here and there. Feel free and just bend. I mean, it bends easily. Like when we get to this top corner, you might wanna just bend that forward a little bit, you know? So just bending stuff into place and letting the glue dry while you're holding it is the key to this, really, to getting all of your edges to line up. Look at that, took us right to the front corner. It's like watching glue dry. Here's another thing you can do while you're waiting. Just throw a little tape on there, just so it doesn't spring open. There, so that's like holding it into place while it finishes drying. You can keep gluing other parts. I never said this is gonna be an interesting video. All right, so as you're gluing this, you might find that some of the edges don't line up perfectly. Now's a good opportunity to take your knife and just slice off little bits here and there, or um, you know, bend it or do whatever you need to do so that everything lines up the way you want. All right, there we go. So that's the basic shape. Before you move on, you might wanna put this on your head and see how well it fits. I'm making this a little bit on the small side. You might wanna make this a little bit bigger. Now's the chance to do that. Just make those adjustments that you need to. This is gonna go here. That's yeah, pretty tight. All right, definitely make yours a little bit bigger if you got a big head. So as long as your, your glue is really, really sturdy, you could now kind of bend that out a little bit, smush it. 
back up into place. All right, so now we're gonna attach the face piece. Mainly we wanna make sure it's centered. So um, start by lining that up and let's just tape that first. Tape is not the strongest, but that's the point. Okay, so like now you can get an idea of where the sides are gonna go. See how that lines up right there and it overlaps just a little bit. So I'm gonna glue that whole edge right now. So I'm gonna glue this spot where it overlaps. All right, now that I'm gluing this, I just had an idea. Um, this is totally optional, but I think I'm gonna reinforce the inside of these seams. So I'm gonna just line the inside with some tape. So I'm gonna like just add some tape inside here um, to the back edges that we did. So tape is coming off now. Looks like it's gonna line up good. So let's just add glue to the top edge. Stick it right back where it was. Perfect. Starting to look like Iron Man. That's gonna fit perfectly right here. Well, I'm waiting for that. I'll add a little more in here. And nice. This edge and our little tab. See, like I'll tape the inside of this jaw seam. It's looking a little square on the top, so now that the glue is set, I can really push this into place and like round it out. So I think I am gonna just go ahead and add some tape over these because once you paint it, it's not gonna matter. It's all gonna be one color anyway. So I'm gonna do that with duct tape. All right, so that is it. I think we got it. I guess you should try it on at this point too. All right, it's a little tight. It's all dependent on your head size. So you make adjustments now, if needed, you could cut one of these seams. Just go right back up here, cut the seam that you already glued add a little bit of cardboard in there, spread it out a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. But I think I'm ready for paint. All right, the gold is done, that looks pretty good. So we're just gonna mask off some of these shapes here and then spray the rest red and then that's it. All right, so I wanna draw out um, the shapes that we want here, two and a half inches up from the corner of the face mask, just roughly. I'm just gonna do a line straight out, and then down like a triangle, but then I'm gonna come straight down. This is gonna be gold, this is gonna be red. All right, then on the jaw, I'm just gonna go like halfway through this whole jaw piece. Just halfway through, halfway through, halfway through. But what I do wanna do is come in at an angle right there. All right, so check this out. So we're masking off where we want the gold to stay. Gotta keep that in mind. Um, okay, so these little flap things that I haven't done yet, these little like flappy doos, they're not gonna be attached on ours just to make it a little easier, but this is the shape that we're going for. So remember where we had these two lines? It's where we made that initial fold all along the back of this. We had two lines here. That's where you wanna start. Basically, it's here. There you go. You see those two lines? Do the same thing on the sides. Okay, so there we go. You can see that, kind of drew that around. Now the way to do a curved uh, piece of tape is to use lots of little pieces and then just change the angle slightly each time. See, so there you go, kind of a curve. All right, so I'm just gonna finish covering the parts that we wanna stay gold. Make sure you don't use duct tape for this. You gotta use masking tape. The duct tape would peel the gold paint all the way off. All right, got my red spray paint, let's do it. All right, so the red is done. It's time to take off this masking tape and reveal the gold paint. All right, so it's looking pretty good. You can leave it like this if you want, but I'm gonna take a Sharpie and draw in some additional details, just a few more lines. It's up to you how detailed you wanna get with it or how fancy, uh, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Between these two lines where the red is, there's a little scoop that comes down. Now between these two points of the eyes, there's another little swoop, and then you just go up there, up there and then straight up and down. I mean, you can totally do this however you want. Halfway between these two points, I'm gonna do a straight line. Okay, now I'm gonna do a straight line, pretty much straight back. All right, so he's got a circle here. Um, you could find something to trace. Sometimes I just like find a jar or something to trace. So I'm just gonna try and freehand this. I'm gonna do another half circle around that one. There we go. And now right to this corner, I'm gonna do a line and then another one just kind of back. Okay, and now I'll just do the same thing on the other side. All right, so looks like that's it. You can um, add eyes to this if you want. If you're gonna be wearing it, 
probably want to leave them empty so you can see out. Um, but white paper or white tissue paper would work. If you want to get really fancy, you could even put some LED keychains in there to light the paper up to make the eyes light up. All right, so either you're bored to tears after having just watched that, or you've got yourself a pretty sweet homemade Iron Man mask. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope that helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions and I'll try and help you out. And let me know what other tutorials you want to see me try. Be sure and subscribe to my channel because I've got some new awesome videos coming out soon, including a new weekly series that I think you're going to like a lot. It's really funny. So uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Enjoy your Iron Man helmet. Oh, wow. Okay, that one's a little bit tight. Smash my nose. All right, back to the drawing board.